Um, talking about um, restrictions, if I'm reading between the lines, tell me how all this works. Tell our viewers and listeners how all of this works. I sort of sense that Rishi Sunak is saying, look, some of these decisions weren't totally down to me. It was the boss who was telling me to do it, and he was the prime minister. Well, all the candidates um, who served in the government would be subject to collective responsibility, so they may or may not have liked certain parts of that. The leadership contest is, of course, the opportunity for them to say what they really think and what they really thought. Um, all the candidates would have voted for the government's financial package. They would all have voted for the spending in the pandemic. They would all have voted for the tax changes in the budget and later on. So. Um, I, I don't take you know, such a strict view that you said one thing one time and you're saying something different another. They all, under collective responsibility, took uh, that collective view. I think this is a time for them to set it out. Uh, what I did think was quite interesting was that uh, all of the candidates uh, rather unsurprisingly said that they wouldn't have Boris Johnson in their cabinet. I thought it was an odd question, to be honest, because I've never known an immediate past prime minister to serve in someone else's cabinet. Mm. No, but it was just interesting to see how quickly they dropped the hot potato. Uh, I think probably it was a televisual trick. But I'm just interested, finally, you obviously are backing Rishi Sunak all the way, hoping that he will win. Uh, do you think that he'll be able to persuade the membership? Because ultimately it comes down to them and they don't seem to like him. Well, I did my own constituency executive there on Friday night and uh, he had gone down extremely well. Uh, with the membership there. Ultimately, they have to choose um, who they think will be the best Prime Minister and who they think is best qualified to be the Prime Minister in under two months' time. And I think with the experience that he's got, the fact that he showed his courage in the Brexit debate when, as a young MP, he was being pressured by David Cameron to oppose Brexit, but he decided that despite what it might mean for his career, he was going to stick with his beliefs. I think that matters a great deal, and ultimately, I think that's what leadership is.